ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters that have arrived in the cage. This one brought to you with thanks to Q State Electrical. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner, weighed in officially 77.20 kilos. Travels to us tonight from Yapoon, Queensland, trained out of the Rhino MM agent tonight, makes his debut, makes some noise, it's a Stephen Standing across in the red corner, he weighed in officially 77.30 kilos. From Brisbane, Queensland, he's trained out of the base training centre. One fight, one win. Brisbane, give it up, make some noise. This says Mario Noga. Third man in the middle, Mr. Peter Hitmark. This, our sixth fight of the evening, is brought to you by Q State Electrical, your one-stop shop for residential and commercial electrical. No job is too big or too small. Head to qstateelectrical.com.au to get in contact with the team. And I don't know if you noticed, but I turned my PA volume down because the crowd was going to be deafening in my microphone. Fantastic double by Logo early in the round. That that's exactly why I knew that one of the Loga boys comes out and does what Loga boys do. This crowd was going to erupt. We talk about our chaos and crazy addicted to this sport, but at the same time you get beautiful moments like this where you get to share the cage with your brother on the same night. These boys are living it up. In a really dominant position there, Jaden. It looks like he's trying to isolate an arm there for a moment. How difficult or good is it having the underhook on that near side? It makes it pretty interesting. Yeah, he's, and he's got a great hand, and uh, clearly Mario is extremely strong, so it's going to be very difficult uh, to get up, whether it's a near side or far side underhook. For Steven here. He's pretty much just getting ground into the canvas here, isn't he? Very, very difficult position to be in in your debut. Finding yourself here, like within the over the first minute, sorry. You've got your coach right in your corner there if you're Loga. Fantastic position to be. We're on the cage. He's not being too overzealous here. He's working to make sure he's got his position. He's controlling the upper body and trying to find a way for some of these ground and pound shots. And there's Loga just whipping those shots. I mean, he throws them like he's on his feet. Great posture. And Mikhail's almost doing anything to just isolate one of those arms so it's not flying through the air in his head. He's exposed his back. We just saw this in the last fight. Hopefully it doesn't finish the same. And Mikhail. Oh, and straight back into Mount. And Loga going back to work. It's almost pick your poison. Huge shots. Mikhail is not defending himself. Explodes to try and keep himself in the fight. Big energy from the crowd here, and that's all she wrote by Peter Hickman. Pulls it off. <laughs> can hardly hear ourselves speak behind this crowd. We know Loga is a crowd favourite, and a big up to Mikhail for taking this fight on short notice and up against a formidable opponent like Mario. Oh, it's unbelievable. And coming from a guy who said he only intends on fighting for a year and then he wants to call it quits and train forever just because he loves it. And you know what you get when you want to just fight for a year? You get a guy who loves the brawl. He just wants to get in there, entertain and get knockouts. It's the Make only thing he wants from it. It's the only thing we've got from him so far. Making the most of every moment. And he really did that tonight. First round is all he needed. He worked each position. He had great transitions from the mount to the back, back to the mount again. Kept control, kept composure, and finished it where he wanted to. Yeah, and showing fantastic sportsmanship there. You can't do it without your opponent, so it's great to see McCarp step up and offer Mario that. Yeah, absolutely, especially taking that one on short notice. McCarp more than willing to train on the feet, but when it got to the ground, it was a completely different story. With the African hand grenade just throwing those bombs. As we kick it to James O'Shea for the official decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, please give it up for both fighters. Had a great contest. We're seen again here on Beatdown Promotions. This one brought to you with thanks to Q State Electrical. Two minutes, eight of round number one. New winner by TKO. Coming from the red corner, Mario.
All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll grab a couple of words here with our winner. A lot of noise in the room here tonight. Well, Mario, you didn't get paid for overtime, got the job done quick, round one, another stoppage victory. That's right. Yeah, and um, my coach Damien told me in the back, just spa, just spa, come out, and I could feel myself blowing my load instantly. I was like, fuck. So I shot the double and just listened to all three of them, really, I eh? Like, yeah, that was it. So, Talk us through the atmosphere here in the room tonight for you. Then what did you feel when you walked into the cage? Man, I was cool in the back, and then I was down there, and I was like, fuck, what am I doing? <laughs> and then when the music came on, man, feel good. The show's unreal. Like, so cool to be able to fight on a show like this for your second fight. Like, it's fucking gangster. I tell you what, for everyone here tonight, it looks like you know what you're doing, but just talk us through that stoppage once you sensed an opportunity. You went for it. Oh, we just started slanging and banging. I said, fuck it. I could see. So I shot and then felt pretty comfortable. I thought, yeah, it would be sweet on the ground. I just want to say thanks to my fucking beautiful wife up there. Just put up with me all camp. Uh, my teammates, all my mates have come here to support it. Damien, my coaches, everyone. I fucking love you all. Thank you for coming out. Please. Last one for you, Mario. Big night tonight for the family. You've got the party started, and we've got the main course coming up. Yeah, Paulie, me taking that fucking 2,500 upstairs. Let's go! Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen.